The first thing I printed was this toothpick holder. I printed it with Arian Dual Silk PLA, which gives cool look to it. It's printed with 0.60mm layer height. I also used Prim because first time upper lip didn't want to stick to bed. It holds up to 141 toothpicks, which is quite a lot. I like the design, it looks cool and it's useful also. If you like to have cold drinks, you know the problems with the wet marks everywhere. So the fix for that are ghosters, and why not to 3D print them? If you are a car fan like me, here are some cool ones to have. One is like regular piston, and other is more advanced one. I printed it with 0.60mm layer height and it came out good. You need to print it with supports. Supports came off easily and the silver BL gives a good look to them. You can find different SD card holders from the web and I have designed some myself also. Filament I used is Erwan red and green silk PLA. Before I printed, I saw some people had problems with fitting the cards into slots, so I printed both parts 2% bigger. The SD card fit nicely, 1% could also work. If you want nice shiny look on flat surface, use glass bed. You need also use supports for the SD sign. Design is cool, but it could be smaller and the SD card supports surface don't look good on top of the lid. It also takes much filament. This one fits certainly many SD cards, much more than you usually need. If I shake it, I can hear cards moving, but when I open it, all are in their places. I like the design and it's good case for SD cards when you have many cards. Don't have 3D printer. But you need something to 3D print. Just go type in PCBWay.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials. PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling service, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. This is very easy. Upload your file. Select units. Material. Color. You can choose different surface finish. If you like prototyping and making cool stuff. This is good place to order your custom parts. I printed it with PLA, but it's recommended to use PTG. It's one part design, which make it better than others. Before use, you need to press on the pivot in the back of the wallet to free the mechanic. There are two holes to make it easier. The design is simple and minimalistic, focused around ease of use. It can hold up to 5 cards, cards are fixed in place and they don't fall out. On the front side is lever to push out the cards. And push the cards back in. On the back side is money clip to hold your cash. I printed it with PLA, but it's certainly better to use stronger filaments. The layer height is 0.60mm, but it can be printed with 0.2mm to cut down the print time. I used Prim, but if you have good bed adhesion, you don't need it. There are two tabs, which holds case closed. I need to sand them down a little bit to close the case. Glue magnet into the hole to prevent bits falling. I didn't have a small enough magnet, so I cut one out of the magnet strip. It can hold up uh, to 4 bits. If you print the tray on one piece, you need to add supports. It can also print it with two separate parts and then you can glue them together. It's a cool and simple design and is suitable for light work. This kind of magnets are weak, but it's enough to hold the bits.
this is a print in lace foldable box. There are available two versions, small and big one. I printed the big one. I printed it with prim to be sure this long print is not coming loose overnight, but it adds more work after. Be careful folding it, folding it first time, because some laces can be stuck. My box folded nicely and nothing broke. Box also has lead. This box is very useful. I use it to hold reflector bands. You can also buy foldable boxes from store, which could cost me be less, but why not to print it yourself? This print needs good presentation. Before I printed it, I leveled bed once more and adjusted the height. I didn't want to use the brim or raft. It needs some assembly by screwing hanger bar to main part using nut. The main part can spin. This rack can hold 16 socks or 8 pairs. It is very easy to add socks to it. No clothespins needed. You can use it for different size of socks. Actually, is this drying rack very useful? You can use it with the regular clothes drying rack. The socks want to fall down, especially little ones. You need to add clothes pins to prevent the happening, but with it, you don't. With this rack, you can also dry other small things. a nice pen holder design. It came out amazing. This silver BLA shine very nicely. I print it without problems. The holder is a half of the gear and shaft. Even key and stopper screw are added. It can hold up to 9 pens or different things like screwdrivers. Gear pen holder is cool decoration to your desktop and it has use as pen holder. Good gift idea to somebody who likes mechanics.